Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to share with you my very last Sensi haul for April 2022. Not to worry, it's not my very last Sensi haul. We all know I just can't stop. <laughs> but we are coming to the end of April, so this is going to do it for April 2022. And not to worry, friends, we are leaving April with a bang because this is, you can't see this box, but it's a big box and there's lots in here to share. So let's go ahead and dive right in. We'll start with Scentsy packing paper. <laughs> lots and lots of Scentsy packing paper. So there are, this is gonna be pretty random, but there are some pretty special things in here and I am super excited to share with you a few things in particular. So, all right, a few things. So I did pick up a couple of um, Scentsy Fresh sprays. So I love Scentsy Fresh. Scentsy Fresh is our fabric freshener. Um, I love, I love this stuff. It works like a charm. It's wonderful to use on things that maybe you can't wash as easily or in between washes, like you can spray it on your bedding, um, like in between washes, but even more so for things that you like can't actually wash, like couches. <laughs> or like you can spray on the interior of your car, any fabric that you are wanting to just give a little freshening up to. So um, I did pick this up in Coral Waters, which is a really beautiful scent, and then Watermelon Tangerine. So really excited for this one. Definitely a great um, summertime fabric freshener for sure. So excited for that. Okay. Oh no, this is a bummer. Look at the box man well this is luckily mine <laughs> um hopefully everything is okay in here in fact we're gonna we're gonna check this out i got my like 100th air purifier <laughs> our air purifiers you guys are life changing i will tell you um are they an investment absolutely but i will say they are absolutely well worth it i feel like they are worth every single penny um i love these things they are amazing like I said so for me so I thought uh let's see what the hype is all about I'll pick up one see see what I think I loved the first one that I that I purchased and so right off the bat I was like okay I want to start getting a couple more you know I'll have one for um you know our at that in our old house the downstairs and then I'll do maybe one for upstairs and then when I first changed my filter in this thing I was like <laughs> okay we need one of these things in every room of the house because that means if I didn't have this thing running we would either be breathing that junk in or it would be settling into the carpets and we have dogs and our dogs are like our kids so if there's anything that's like getting down and like settling into the carpet like I don't I don't want that so air purifier for the win. So I grabbed, this is now our eighth air purifier. I think this is gonna be it. We have, this one is for our guest room because we have two in our bedroom. We have one in our kitchen, one in our living room. We have one in our office and I have, we have one in here. And I was like, well, how about one for the, <laughs> for the guest bedroom? So I think this is pretty much gonna do it. So um, I do just kind of want to check. Hmm. Like I said, that's a bummer, but it is mine, so it's okay. And I usually will keep the boxes for our um, warmers. Okay, see. So Sensi does an amazing job with packing things. Not to say that, like, accidents don't happen. Um, sometimes, depending on who is delivering your goodies, um, you know, obviously there are some carriers that are more gentle than others but um since he does their best to pack this really well so there's actually like a foam um a little foam piece on top here that's yeah this everything is just fine so okay cool so in case you haven't seen what an air purifier looks like i love this <laughs> i seriously love our air purifiers so they are a, a nice big piece of equipment here. Um, so what it will do is, and it comes with a, a HEPA H13 filter. I'm gonna do a whole separate video on these, just giving you like a review after I have now filled my house <laughs> with them. I've done a video sharing, um, sharing with you the air purifier itself. And then I have done like a review of them after I have, you know, after I've actually used it, telling you if I thought it was worth the splurge. Obviously I think it is well worth it. 
So um, it does come with the air purifier uh, filter right in here. So make sure you do take this out and you take the plastic off first before you start using it. Um, but yeah, so what it does is it will suck in the air around it through here. It will filter it and then push that filtered air up through here, which here you can put two of your favorite Scentsy pods in. Genius. Now, what I will say, is this going to be room filling? In my experience, these are not room filling. They're, they're not. I can smell it when I'm next to it. I can smell it. Uh, we've got two in our bedroom, so I can I can smell that decent, but um, it's, it's not the same as wax and warmers. So yeah, but I have had so many people ask, like, have you experienced um, the air filter, like getting rid of your fragrance? I, I haven't had any issues whatsoever, so. And it's working because <laughs> you will see the next time I have to change out one of my filters, I will show you how gross they get. So, and we have a clean house. It's just, it's just, <laughs> there's just all kinds of particles and stuff that are just floating around. If you open your windows, you know, I mean, you're opening the door to go in and outside and stuff. So it's just, I think it is definitely well worth the investment. So, um, you can see I love it. So I went ahead and picked up another one. So I've got that. Um, let's see here. We have a couple of warmers here. So I was actually going to wait and do this. I wasn't really planning on doing like an actual haul with this particular shipment, but here we are. <laughs> I am getting ready to start a series, um, kind of like a warmer spotlight series, because I feel like there's not enough times where you really can experience the Scentsy warmers in their full beauty. In the catalogs and on the websites, you can see a beautiful edited image of a warmer, but I feel like if you can experience it kind of in person, we're kind of in person, right? Um, you just get a better idea of what the Scentsy warmer really does look like. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna start this series here coming up probably next week of just featuring um, usually one, usually two, sometimes three warmers just to show you side by side and to show you what they look like in person. So um, to hopefully help. So this was actually going to be one of them. I guess it's still going to be, but maybe I'll push it out a ways. So I guess. You get first dibs if you're watching my haul videos. <laughs> so we have Why Are You Blushing in the full size and the mini warmer. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox these together and we're gonna check these out. So first we'll start with the mini warmer here. Our mini warmers are a little like nightlight style, if you will. Uh, comes with a little 15 watt bulb, which is great. And I don't know why I'm really undoing this here because I'm not gonna be, well, I'll show you what it looks like when it's plugged in after this video is done. If I can remember, hopefully I'll remember. Um, oh, I love this, I love this, it's so pretty. I love rose gold. I think this is just a really pretty, classy, classic kind of look. So you have the um, rose gold wire around this like frosted shade. So it will come with a little base that looks like this, a little like nightlight kind of. Um, and with our metal warmers, our metal mini warmers and our uh, ceramic, you will see that instead of actually screwing onto the base, there are these little uh, hole cutouts. So you will line those holes up with the little notches that are in this, that are on the base itself. So you will line that up you'll secure it on and it is ready to use. So you'll just go ahead and plug that right in and then you have your on and off switch right there. So really super pretty, so I've got that. Um, now let's check out the full size warmer. So paired really nicely together, of course. And this is actually the first time I've, I've seen the mini before, but I haven't actually seen the full size yet. So I'm excited to check this out. So this one will come with a frosted dish here. And of course, <laughs> you've got its, its mama here. And this shade is not glass, so if you're worried about um, any like 
breaking or anything. It's it's not glass. So this is just like a, a plastic shade in there. You have the rose gold wire, of course. And then this, your dish is just gonna sit right on top there, just like that. And it does come with a clear 25 watt bulb. So we will get the bulb going, plug her in and light her up. Okay, so let's see how she looks all lit up. I love it. This is just such a simple design and obviously it's not seasonal. This is something that you can keep out all year and how can you resist rose gold? <laughs> and it's not crazy bright. That is one thing I will say that I've heard a lot of feedback on regarding the May warmer of the month and how bright it is. It doesn't bother me. It's not going in my bedroom, so it's totally fine. But um, I actually, I love the brightness <laughs> personally, but if you are looking for a softer glow, something like this, um, this is a nice soft glow because of that frosted shade that's in between the bulb and the wire there. So it is a nice kind of soft glow there. So this is the full size. Why are you blushing? So I feel like if you have one, you kind of have to have the other. <laughs> that's why I was like, oh. <laughs> all right fine we'll go with both so we've got both um like i said i i am doing this like warmer spotlight series so you'll probably be seeing these two again here soon <laughs> i probably won't do it like super like early on in, in the series but i have them so it's it's good to show just in case anybody is not here for the long-winded lisa videos where we unbox everything together <laughs> All right, and we do have one more warmer, but I think I'm gonna make you wait till the end because it's gonna be kind of like the grand finale here. All right, Ooh, but we do have a box. <laughs> we do have a box that is probably filled with wax, I'm assuming. Uh, it's kind of bursting at the seams here. I should have some other things besides just wax in here. We'll see. So let's dive right in. And I will say not all of this is for me. I do have some of these for um, customers as well. <laughs> Ooh, yay. Okay, first and foremost, you already know, usually with a haul video, you will see lots of scent circles, consultant problems. <laughs> we always have to carry scent circles on hand, right? So I'm gonna go blow through this kind of fast. So scent circles are great for anything that's kind of, I don't wanna say on the go, cause it's not just on the go. You can hang these in your closet, you can hang these in your locker, you can hang these in your car, you can hang these in a diaper pail, wherever you need a little boost of fragrance, these work great for. So uh, scent circles in pink rhubarb sugar, ruby nectarine, coastal sunset, Tangerine Creamsicle, Oh Snapdragon, Rainbow Sherbet, you already know that's a favorite here, Coco Lime, Prickly Pear and Agave, Sea Salt and Avocado, Go Go Mango, Summer Holiday, Camu Camu, and two Black Raspberry Vanilla. And these are kind of fun. Some of them, um, not all of them, but some of them will have little designs on the back. So this one says, you are very special. So kind of fun. So no, these are not all for me. <laughs> like I said, as consultants, usually a lot of consultants will have these on hand. Um, so that's what those are for. Okay. What else do we have in this box here? We've got some pods. I can tell you that much. We've got two pods. We've got um, sea salt and avocado and prickly pear and agave kind of similar fragrances so if you like one you should try the other but um really really nice i am kind of on a sea salt and avocado kick right now um one of my friends this is like her like signature fragrance and she had just um, posted actually on our team page like her her like stock of sea salt and avocado and um, i was like actually that sounds really good right now so ever since then i've been like kind of craving it so sea salt and avocado really good just fresh sweet green fragrance that's really good uh prickly pear and agave like i said kind of the same same feel it, they're not the same they're absolutely they're not like dupes in any kind of way but i feel like if you like one you'll like the other this one is a still 
fresh and clean, but there's a little bit more of a floral to this, but it's so nice. It's nice and it's done really well um, and a really great like summertime scent. So I do have these in pods. Um, pods, in case you are newer to Scentsy, are these little plastic casings with uh, fragrance beads inside. These are made to be used with our fan diffuser systems or my new air purifier. <laughs> um, so this is a our waxless uh, fragrance version. Okay, we have some bars. Of, oh, we have lots of bars. <laughs> okay, I think let's do these first. I have some fragrance flowers. So we have do, 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 do. we have watermelon tangerine i'm really hoping that watermelon tangerine will do well in the fragrance flower so we will see in case you are not familiar with fragrance flowers they're essentially like little reed diffusers but way prettier a really pretty little um flower sitting in the oil instead of two sticks <laughs> And then we also have whipped vanilla lavender. This is a part of the Mother's Day collection, which is so good. Whipped vanilla lavender and all of the things. If you love lavender, you've got to give it a try. It is fantastic. Love it. Love it. And it's only available for a limited time. So I'm like, yeah, I definitely need to pick up some more things. Okay. Also, I told you guys, sea salt and avocado in the fragrance flower. So I've got that as well. So those are good to go there. And now, <laughs> whoop, and now the rest is all bars. <laughs> so let's see here. My box just tipped over, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this here. Okay, so we have, I think I have a few of the Chase Rainbows. Yes, Chase Rainbows Wax Collection. I love this collection, you guys. It is so, so good. Um, so it comes with five limited time fragrances in the colors of the rainbow, inspired by the colors of the rainbow. So we have, I did a whole separate video of like, like my first sniffs and stuff on it. So if you wanna check that out, I will link it down below in the description, but I love every single one of them. I have already added three of them to my Scentsy Club. Red is the first one. I love this scent, I can't get enough of it. It's strawberry and watermelon and it is, mm, it's so good, it's so, so good. I love this one, obviously club worthy. So I've got that. Um, we've got blue. So blue is just a like clean laundry type scent. And it's strong, strong. Yellow smells like lemons. So we've got a good lemon scent here. Really good. Okay, the next one that went into my club, green. Mm. It's just a really good green apple scent. So nice and it's a good like authentic green apple scent too which i really really love the next one that was club worthy for me is orange oh man this is so not what i was expecting at all this oh man <laughs> this is just so good there is like a musky note in this there might be amber in this it's so good it's so good totally not what i was expecting it is citrusy but it is a deeper citrus scent. And like I said, it's kind of musky, kind of romantic. And I love this. If this was a perfume, I would absolutely wear it. So orange made its way into my club. But until then, I do have these here. So um, I picked up one collection for myself. And then I do have, like I said, some orders here. So I've got that. Okay. Now for some regular bars here. So um, we have... Camu Camu, love this scent. This is such a great summery fragrance. That's a tropical fruity fragrance. So, so nice. So Camu Camu, black raspberry vanilla, just a good, solid, basic staple scent, I feel like. Um, also, fun fact, if you have a really stained warmer dish, um, this is, I don't, I don't know why this, I don't know why this is. I've actually shown this on my channel here as well. And no, I didn't come up with this. This was just something that I found out about and I was like, I'm going to give it a try. Totally works. If you have a really stained warmer dish, pop black raspberry vanilla into your warmer, enjoy it. And then when it's lost its fragrance, um, change out your wax and your dish will be good as new basically. <laughs> so yeah, soak up all the wax and then um, just kind of clean out the warmer dish and that stain is gonna be lifted right up. So I haven't seen a situation where it hasn't worked. So uh, kind of a neat trick. Uh, pink sugarberry mint. 
it this is just wonderful sweet cotton candy mm, i can't get enough of it so so good also available in pods this year whoop whoop super excited about that um we've got a bar of skinny dipping i laugh because um i i've been working on my skinny dipping brick mm, it's just so good it's so good it's so good this is another just summery tropical fruity scent one of my top favorites of like all time ever 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 skinny dipping so so good okay i also have several i think there's six in here one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> there are six whipped vanilla lavender. Yes, I told you guys, I love this scent. This is a part of the Mother's Day collection, as I think I already mentioned. Um, if you love a good lavender scent, gosh, it's so good. Scentsy just did such a good job with this scent. <sighs> It's beautiful. It performs well. It's exactly what I wanted. It was exactly what I hoped for. And they just, it's perfect. So six bars <laughs> and also in my club. Okay. <clears throat> also I did pick up, I think only two. Yes, I believe only two. Uh, Sparkling Magnolia. This is also from the Mother's Day collection. I am wanting to give this another try. Good thing this is not for an order. <laughs> because do you see the like sad? Um, this did nothing for me. This I I could I could smell it, but it was very very light when it was going. So I decided I wanted to pick up a couple more bars and let the fragrance oils cure for a little bit longer before I use it again because it is such a beautiful scent. It's just very light. So I got that. To hold on to and then like warm in like a month or something all right and now are you ready <laughs> we have the little mermaid collection <laughs> i shouldn't say the collection because i didn't get the buddy clip i don't think no i didn't get the buddy clip i didn't get the buddy but i did get the bars and i did get the warmer so so yes, that is the warmer we are going to finish off with. So, and as I am recording this, um, the Little Mermaid collection is still currently available. So if you are wanting to grab anything, it is still available while supplies last. So, okay, let's, these scents. I have smelled both of these before, but as I have mentioned in a couple of videos, we recently moved and our the house we moved from in california was two stories and we had really high ceilings and so if it was basically if it wasn't a powerhouse it would kind of get lost so now we are in a one-story home um the layout is completely different and i am actually noticing that lighter fragrances i'm actually able to smell and enjoy now and i am so happy because i love both of these but they just didn't perform for me at all in the old house so Let's talk about these scents. So Ariel Under the Sea, of course, a beautiful kind of green wax, light green kind of teal minty color. It's so pretty. It's very aquatic, obviously. Um, so good, so good. This is, it's kind of like aloe water and cucumber feels. Let me tell you what Scentsy actually says about the scent description here. I really am, I have high hopes for this. I really do. <laughs> I'm like, please do better in this house because I really want you to. Okay, so Ariel's Under the Sea. True love awaits, so give chase and follow your heart across oceans of emerald water, crisp green apple, and blue hibiscus. Totally, I agree with that 100%. Does it smell like it's gonna be a powerhouse? No, I don't think it's gonna be a powerhouse, but I do think, well, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping I'll be able to smell and enjoy this. So um, I, I would agree with that. Like I said, if you like aloe water and cucumber, I feel like you will enjoy this scent as well. Same type of fragrance in my opinion. Okay, now let's talk about the second scent, which is the Little Mermaid, Kiss the Girl. So this one, this one is definitely, it's definitely different. 
This is more fruity. This is more aquatic. Th I'm saying this, this and this. Ariel under the sea <laughs> is more aquatic. The Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl is more fruity. I almost smell like blueberries or something. It's really nice. Um, and this one, I'm really, really hoping for um, some better performance. So let's see what Sensi says about The Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I feel like I'm not entirely off here. Enchanting strawberry, raspberry. Raspberry is what I think I'm smelling. Oh, it's so good. Enchanting strawberry, raspberry, lime, and subtle waves of sea mist will make you fall head over heels. I don't pick up the lime if you're like, that sounds like a weird mix. I don't pick up the lime in this. I do get the strawberry. I do get the lime, or lime. I just, <laughs> I do get the strawberry. I do get the raspberry. I don't get the lime which is giving me blueberry vibes. Um, as far as like subtle waves of sea mist, I, I don't know about all that, but um, yeah, strawberry, raspberry. Basically what I'm trying to say is that Ariel, under the sea, aquatic, the little mermaid, kiss the girl, more fruity. So, ooh, I wonder if even mixing these would be good. Mm hmm so I have I think I did a six pack yeah we did six bars of the Little Mermaid kiss the girl and then six bars of Ariel under the sea so whoop 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 we are set so we are set there and now it is time for this beautiful warmer we are going to unbox this and check this out for the first time together okay are you guys ready for the grand finale of this haul I am ready for the grand finale of this haul. I have been looking forward to this warmer. <sighs> okay. Also, I know this doesn't actually matter, but I'm just a sucker for like the small details. The packaging on our licensed products is always so special. Um, check out this box, you guys. We've got Ariel and we've got Flounder. So, so cool. So. All right, we have the warmer. Let's unbox it here together. Right when you open it, you see it says under the seat. All right, we have a warmer dish here. Something that's really special that I think all of our licensed warmers, if not all, it's like 99% of our licensed warmers have a designed dish. So this one is really special because inside the dish you have Sebastian. So fun in this pretty aqua color dish. So really special. Okay. So excited. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. And I love the attention to detail here. So what Sensi did was they have the glass rippled a little bit. So that way when it's turned on, it gives you this like underwater effect. So cool. Okay, I can't wait any longer. Let's light her up and check her out. Okay, so she is all set to go. And what I will say is that it does take a 25 watt bulb. It does come with the clear bulb, but if you wanna play around with the different colors, you totally can. Um, we're gonna go ahead and stick Sebastian up in here. All right, are you guys ready? Okay, gotta turn off my lighting here. All right, let's see what she looks like. And of course I've got some natural light coming in here, but. <gasps> Oh, it's so pretty. And I wish you guys can see like how it looks just even like I'm not even that close to the wall, but see how like it gives you that like rippling effect. Oh, that is so cool. It totally looks like it's underwater. Since I'm going to show you the why are you blushing mini warmer, um, I will put this like next to a wall and show you at the end of this video as well. So that way you can see like really the underwater effect that this gives. Oh, it's gorgeous. <gasps> it's gorgeous. And shockingly enough, 
this warmer is still available. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm totally shocked, at least while I'm recording this. So if this is a warmer that you want to snag for yourself, I wouldn't wait too much longer because I'm actually surprised it's still available. So, so pretty. I love it. Sensi did a really, really great job with this one. So there you have it. That is my last haul for April, 2022. Definitely did some damage, but not to worry. I was not alone in the damage making. So let me know your thoughts on some of the things that I picked up. Have you tried some of these things? Have you, do you have some of these warmers? Um, have you tried the Scentsy Fresh? Let me know your thoughts. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate the love and support. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like these types of videos. If you like the hauls, definitely give this video a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Scentsy. All right, you guys, thank you so, again, so much for hanging out with me. Uh, stay tuned because I am going to go ahead and hop over to the wall here and show you what the Why Are You Blushing mini warmer looks like. And then I'll show you a different view of the Little Mermaid warmer as well. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. All right, you guys. So obviously this is going to look very, very similar <laughs> to its mama, the full size warmer. But I still wanted to show you what it looks like when it's turned on um, just because it's a little bit smaller. So Again, really pretty, really nice soft glow. So this is really nice. You can, you know, I feel like you can absolutely use this for a bedroom and not have it be um, too bright to keep you up or anything, but this is great for bathrooms or hallways or somewhere where you're wanting just a little extra glow. And obviously some amazing fragrance too. Okay, and last but not least, do you see what I mean? <laughs> Look at that water ripple effect. This is just on in one of the cubes that's uh, behind me in my filming room here, but oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Even just like this view here does it a little more justice than what I was showing you. Oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. I love how they did the rippled glass. Such a neat warmer, such a neat warmer. All right, you guys, have an amazing day. I will see you in my next video.